Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farm Manager 2018. We are going to do another episode of this one this week. This is the game that I'm going to concentrate on now for this end of the week, I think. Because there is so much more to this game than I first realised. I mean, like, seriously huge amounts more than I first realised. And I'd really like to get to grips with what the game has and what we can sort of discover from it. I think it's going to be really, really interesting. Now... One thing I have noticed is that our three workers who were busy planting these um, peppers in here went for a bit of a walkabout. And now they're coming back. And I, I don't really know what they're doing. I'm guessing that they've gone to get plants or something. Because, yeah, they, they kind of got off the seed drill and, and, and went for a walk around. So maybe they've got to go to the store and get the plants every time. If this is the case... We're going to need somebody extra back here. Now, that one has... Oh, soil fertility is not actually up... Oh, it's because she hasn't finished. She's still busy spreading that field there. Allegra's working on that one. And then we've got over here, we need the soil fertility to be brought up. We've got cultivating going on over here. And then when that one's done, we'll be able to um, get that one planted as well. So this field here is planting. They've got... I think I might actually need another one of these planters. Um, I'm not sure at the moment. And I also think that I might need some more seasonal workers. If we've got all of these fields, we're going for seasonal crops um, rather than any other types of crops. I reckon we're going to need um, we're going to need more people here. We're, we're going to need more crops and more stuff like that in order to be able to get this to work properly. So let's just have a little scan around. I mean, we can build that fairly quickly when it comes time to picking. So that's not really like a pressing issue right now. We've got three separate trailers. It's just whether or not we're going to have enough for three crews for picking in the fields. Don't think we're going to. Weather alert too low temperature. I wonder what the weather alert is for. Whether it's for that one or for a different one. Right, you are... Well, apparently you're finished, but the soil fertility is not all the way up. So I'm going to go to this one here a minute and I'm going to go fertilizing... I'm going to choose manure right there and machines and autofill. So Allegra is going to come up and she's going to spread that field there. This one here is almost done with cultivating. And then this field here needs a little bit more of something. And I'm not quite sure what we're going to use. Now that vehicle over there, the trailer with water, is only able to do um, water. So the liquid manure that we're getting from pigs... I think we're going to have to use a different machine for that. Let's just go and quickly have a look in the market. Uh, we want to go to buy. We want to go to fertilizers. Slurry tank. Yeah, we do need a slurry tanker for that one if we're going to be using it. We could just sell that and just do ordinary manure on here. I'm genuinely not sure at the moment. Right, that one there has gone on and has now done everything. So I think it was just the act of exiting the game and coming back in caused the three people to vanish off somewhere else. Um, which, it does kind of make sense because, um, you know, games do do strange things like that from time to time. I think we'll speed this up a little bit so that planting can continue. We've got soil fertility on halfway there. This one, I we're going to need more people back up on here. So as soon as... Well, actually, I, I'm not going to... I need to get planting done. We're going to go with it with the soil fertility slightly low on this field. I think this is the only way that we're going to be able to do this. Because I've got this one coming up now. And we've got to wait for that one to be done. We've got to wait for that one to be done. We can't do it unless I bought in something different. Bought in an extra one of these. How long is this going to take? Alright, the speed that that's getting done, that's fine. We can do that one. So we were planning. That was the peppers. This is strawberries on this one. And then we had, I think I said cabbages, and then this one was the other one. Whatever was the other crop that we had left. So this field here, I want to do cabbages. Let me just slow that. I'll tell you what, I'm going to pause this a minute. Actually, I can't do it on there, but I can do it on here. If I go like that, and then I go here, I go machines, choose. Cabbage, I got 100 units, and tomatoes, I got 789 units. Strawberries were there on a small field. Now, cabbages, we were fine with loads of them. And then if I go autofill, right, well, that's fine. 789 units. So this one here was the tomatoes and that was the cabbages right there. Okay, so we, we've definitely got that right. So we let that one carry on there. As soon as this is finished, I'm going to get the muck spreading going on that field over there. I just need Allegra to finish up the job. And then as soon as she's sort of completed the job over there, I can start this one here. 
And actually, I can get this one going already. No, I can't, because I want to get muck spreading going on it first. I have to get muck. There we go. Right, so we can go onto here, and then we can go choose. So it was cabbages on this one, and tomatoes on the other one. Uh, machine, autofill. We've got Alice. I don't want Carl in there. Okay, and let, let me slow this right down. Uh, we go over to here, and first we're going to go to fertilizing. And that is right. Yes, I, I do need fertilizer on there. So we will choose some fertilizing. We're going to go for manure on there, and we're going to go autofill. So we got Al. I don't want Alice on that job. I want uh, Allegra doing that job. Except 195 kilos. I know it's going to sort of double spread a lot of it. Then we'll go back to this one here, and we can go back to choose. And it was cabbages. Yes, because it's tomatoes on the other one. Machines, autofill. So we've got Alice driving. Carl is there. And then I got two others. I think that's going to be all right. We can spare Carl to do this. I'm Actually, just in case I can't spare Ch uh, Carl, I'm going to take Elliot instead. So we put that one on there. And they are now going to start planting that field. So I want to go show. And then call in. And then I can get rid of it up there like that. This one here is sell 11 pigs. High demand, sell 11 pigs for the 14th to the 8th uh, to receive an additional 8,700. I don't sell pigs, I put them through the slaughterhouse. Uh, so unfortunately, that's not one that we're going to actually do. That's alright, I can live with that. I can absolutely live with that. Uh, sell 680, even if, if I sold all of them, just like this, and then I bought them and sold them immediately, I would still be able to do this, and I would gain a bonus... 8,700. It cost. We lose. I'm going to profit from this anyway. I'm just going to sell them like this. There. And then I'm going to buy in six. And I'll wait for them to turn up. Because I can't sell them yet until they've turned up. Uh, so I've, I've, uh, bought, I've just bought in six. I need to sell all of those six. And then I need to buy some more. 23. Right. There's eight days left on there. We've got people working in here. Yep. There. Oh, they're still planting. Right. You know, it would help if I actually did this, and then it would um, it would get things running. I completely forgot that I just left it sat there, not doing anything at all, wondering why it wasn't changing. Uh, 69 days left on that. So the strawberries here are going... They're the shortest growing ones, so they'll be the ones that we do last. We're going to do... We're doing cabbages at the moment on there, and then as soon as the cabbages are planted, uh, training finished... Okay, let's just slow that down to normal play speed a minute while we go into here. Now, do I go for the one-year training yet? Reduce the price of buildings by 20% 30 days. Slows the wear of machines. I'm not worried about that. Increase maximum price of products and crops by 7%. That's another 30 days. Rate of production by 10 is 90 days. So I could do one month on cheaper buildings right here and then go into the full year of training on that one. I think that's what we... Because we're in early spring right now. And we're going to be wanting more buildings. We want the more we want the cheap, cheaper buildings before we worry about the others. If I get that, I should be able to get everything else done. And then when we want to come to build another seasonal employee's house, it should be a lot cheaper. Now, we've got the muck being spread on this field. And that should put soil fertility all the way up to max. I'm hoping. And then this one down here is going to be the tomatoes. And this one over here is going to be the cabbages. Right. In theory, everything should come together quite nicely now. Uh, pigs over here. I've now got pigs again. Animals. I'm going to sell all six of them. And then I'm going to buy five. Like that. And I'm going to sell one of them. So sell 11 pigs. That should be most of them done. That, that, well, that should increase a bit on there in a minute. Um, and then we should have all of them sold. So that one has now almost completed. And then when that one does, uh, this one here is done. This one here, I just want to call in a um, manure spreader. So we go on to there and there and then machine, autofill. Carl can do that. That's fine. Get to work, Carl. And show and then call in. There. Like that. Right, the pig thing is now done. I should have another five pigs. I will sell one pig out of there. That, There we go. We've done it. Sell 11 pigs. Ideal. And that is going to give us 8,700. So it's actually a profit. Despite the fact that we sort of did everything 
that way it, it um, is ended up being a profit and that's quite good I'm quite pleased about that there's four days left on there uh, this field has now finished and this field is now finished as well fertilizing oh no they've only just started on there this field is completely finished so let's go and plant the strawberries then we'll do, we'll do the strawberries next I was thinking we'd want to do the other we do want to do because the strawberries have got such a low they're only 50 days uh, you know what? Let's do it. Let's let's just do the strawberries. I don't want to wait. I don't I don't want to wait all this time. So we go there. I go machines, auto fill, accept. Let's get all of those going. I got Carl. I think that was Carl doing the muck spreading over there. And the strawberries are going to be planted in here with Allegra and Co. And then we can come in here and we can do the tomatoes as the final field. Hopefully we get those done early enough that we can then start doing all of the picking. This one up here now has all been planted. This one here has got two days left. It's going to be time, I think, very soon to get ourselves some seasonal workers. We're going to be pleased to have seasonal workers here. I'm also thinking I'd like to get another field of strawberries because strawberries do... Let's just slow this down. Hang on. Let's... Oh, I'm going to pause it for a moment because if you look in here... Actually, I think they've already taken all of the strawberry plants. Tomato seedlings there... Well, it doesn't actually say how long they um, take. We need to go to the market. The tomatoes took... The tomatoes didn't take that long. Red peppers there. They are uh, 88 days. And then uh, raspberries are 95. That takes a long time. Strawberries are just 50 days. So we could... And they're 78 days for those. So uh, tomatoes do take a while. I reckon we could do another field and do it all with strawberries. It's going to take a while. We're going to have, it's going to take a, a bit of an effort to grow this massive great big field. But I still think we can do this. Uh, we'll do it on this side. That side there is going to be buildings. And we'll build another um, seasonal employee's household up there. So we want to come down here first. And we want to go to the field. And I want to zoom in a little bit there. Make that as big as I can. Right. It's as big as it can go that way. And as big as I can go that way. That is the biggest field that I can make. The absolute biggest field that I could make. Right, so then if I click on the field, if I go there and I choose strawberries. We don't have anything at the moment, so I want strawberries there. 4,384. We're going to do it. We're buying 4,384 units of strawberries. So they're all going to come in. And then this field here, I'm going to get someone coming in here and doing some plowing. So I'll autofill Carl on there with the plow. He's going to come in and deal with that. And the strawberries are also all going to be bought. And that's all going to be dealt with because they can come up there and go in. I'm not quite sure which direction they'll go in. It'll be fine. It'll work out nicely. We let that lot carry on there. So I'm going to want... I might want to stagger this slight. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do this yet. Let's speed it up a bit. Why are you stopped? Oh, I see. He was walking around trying to establish something, figure something out. Who, who knows quite what was going on. Carl needs to get his um, backside in gear and get up here so that he can start plowing that field. He hasn't even... Oh, there he is. He's on his way. That's brilliant. He is on his way. There is our strawberries being planted and being planted at a phenomenal rate. Fantastic. So once that one's done, then we're on to here. This is all ready to go as well. Yep, soil fertility is all perfect on all of these. Soil moisture is looking really good as well. The only thing I'm going to need to do up there is get some uh, more scarecrows in. But before I do that, I'm going to go into here and... Right, that is now planted. They're all going to rush away. So this field here, we want to get this one started planting. Right, show animals ready for breeding. Call in. And then do that. And then we've got this one here. They are ready for picking. So let's go there and autofill. Yep, that's the ones. We go for those three on there. And I do think we're going to want some, um, oh, call in. I put the wrong one going, did I? Oh, it's because the chickens have, oh no, the rabbits as well. There. Right, I think I've got all of them marked. And they should have all gone back now so I can do the next lot of planting. And this is the tomato one. Machine, autofill, Alice. Allegra, Evie, and Layla. Except 789 units, which is all the tomatoes that I've got. They're going to plant in there. Plowing is nearly done over here. We're going to go... As soon as the plowing is done, he's going to go straight on with the cultivating. I'm going to buy and place a few scarecrows a minute. 
We want to put some of those in. They seem to help. They do actually seem to make a significant difference. So we put one there and one there. And then I go for one there and one up there as well. And then we go over this side. And we do the same through there as well. Right, that's perfect. We got six scarecrows in that field. They should all be scaring the crows. And working beauty. Why does that one take so long? There's one person that seems to take ages to get going with the um, the planting on there. And But they're away anyway. They're, they're, they're starting to plant now. They're driving on the strawberries, but yeah, okay, we can live with that. So over here, we've got cultivating, and as soon as he is parked up, there he goes. He's parked up. We can get him straight back out again. Uh, Autofill go. Right, we've got pumpkins harvested. I'm actually going to go to the market while they're busy working and we're going to sell the pumpkins that we've got. I've got 423 kilos there. I've actually got 4,003. The price is way down at the moment, but we still get 13 grand, so I'm going to sell those. And yeah, that's, that's all of them. And show. Call in. Okay. And that one there. Right, it's just that one there rid of those and then this here this field is ready for harvest that's the one that we're doing that one is ready for harvest as well autofill accept like that and then these got 10 days and eight days left in over there what are we doing now right we've got the slaughter oh i see that one's over there these are planted 62 days 46 56 40 53 and 70 this one's taking a little while that's uh, we know that that's going to take a while i'm going to put another seasonal house down here now that's going to be the next thing that we're really going to want i think so we want workers and oh it's only 36 grand i thought it was actually going to be more than that so thirty-six thousand is going to work out quite nicely for us let's bring that one over there close-ish to the bees and it's right next to the field so we've got plenty of room now for seasonal employee all the seasonal employees that we want what I do want, though, I think, is another tractor and trailer so that I've got four tractors and trailers ready for harvesting. Um, just because, well, I think we, we couldn't even fill three crews when we had the three tractors. So we'll, we'll, so we'll watch this space and we'll see how that pans out. We may be glad of some extras. We may not. Using machinery does give you a, bo a, a boost, a bonus. You get extra yield if you use machinery. And that also includes a seasonal picking like this. If you use the box trailer and the tractor, you get a higher yield than if you just have the people carrying them to um, storage like we do at the moment. So that one is almost done. Come over here. i got five days on that one and seven days on that one. So this one here, I'm going to cultivate that one a minute. Autofill and go. And then that one there has got five days left. So they should get that one cultivated before that one is ready to harvest. At least that's what I'm hoping. So we're not going to worry about any more greenhouses. We've got those two greenhouses. And I really don't think we need to concern ourselves with more than that. Right, that is done there. So then we want the soil fertility. We want to go into there. And we want to go to machines and autofill. Alice can do that. 390 kilos on there. Next, we got to be keeping an eye on soil and moisture. This is the really difficult bit. What I'd like is... Oh, that one's got, definitely got to have some moisture put onto it. Machines. Autofill. Carl can come out and do that. What I'd really like is um, some automatic irrigation systems that you can buy. If, no, no, I don't care if it's going to be like more expensive or anything. That's not really going to affect it as far as I'm concerned. But having some form of irrigation system, I think, would really improve the overall quality of the game. And just the way that it all performs as well. So he comes over here. Does he back into the lake? Oh, no. He just goes straight up through and gets onto the field and starts putting water on it. So that one's full. Those two are full. That one's nearly full, and so are those. This one up here is definitely going to need some more soil and moisture added to it. As we're doing strawberries up there, like those have got 30 days left. Um, 50 on there. I'm not too... I think we'll put the soil and moisture on there first before we start worrying about getting um, other bits. I meant to get that one after I got the um, building thing cheaper, didn't I? That was, a, that was actually a bit of a mistake on my part. Right, this one's almost done, so I can get more water being put onto that field. And then as soon as that is done, we can then go to the next bit, which is going to be putting, uh, planting all of the strawberries. But we'll do the soil moisture first. 
She's going to go up there. She's got to come all the way back down and park up before it classes the job as finished. And that's the bit that... I, I wish that they would sort of allow you to cross it over. It would make it a little bit easier. I mean, we've got the job done. I can't cancel the job, but I can't start the next one until she's gone into the house. There we go. Right, now we've, we've done that. Oh, I can't water it anyway. Right. I've literally, I've got to do the sowing next. Okay, well, that's fine. 5,977 strawberry seedlings there. And we will take Allegra and... I'm not going to take Allegra and Carl. I'm going to choose somebody different. We'll take Freddy there. And uh, we're going to... 4,384 for this. It said I needed more than that. I think it lied to me. Unless I did it the wrong way around. Unless I... Um, calculate a plan to do a different field with strawberries down here. I could well have done. It wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. But the rain that has now turned up is absolutely awesome. Drought on your field. Ooh. Ooh, dear. That is, um, that, that is bad. And soil fertility. I can't do anything about the soil fertility, but I can autofill that. Uh, I'm going to take everybody and we're all going to I'm gonna take those four people. They're going to go in onto that field and deal with that. I don't have anybody to pick at the moment. So we're going to now go in here. We're going to hire some seasonal employees. We're going to go like that. And then I'm going to go down through. And all I want is the five of fives. I'm going to slow that down to play speed rather than fast speed. Anybody that's on five of five, four of five or five of five is the ones that we will be employing. We're not going to take anybody that is three or lower. I want decent quality workers here. Decent quality only. There's a five of five and another one. We've got lots of fives here. Some fours. Right, that's all of those. How many have we got in this house? i got 11 people in here. I want more. So we go down through there and then I go to seasonal only. And we go back down through and we do the same again. And it refreshes the list every time, which is absolutely brilliant. It doesn't sort of force you to hire... The, um, the poorer quality people. I really, really don't want to be hiring poor quality people at this stage in the game. Uh, and we've got a five right there. We are limited on the number of five of fives that we get. But we, we at least get a few. So 19, i got room for five more in here. So we'll hire another five. And then after we've done that, we will then... Right, we want those. Yeah, after we've done and got another five people here, we'll there, there's a five of five there. And another one... And another one. I need two more people. We'll worry about filling up the other house in a little while when we need the extra people. I'm not going to get them all at the moment. Right, so there we've got 24 people all living in that house. That's excellent. So then I can come over here and I can go pick and I can autofill there with some seasonal employees. Accept. And I go into that one and I will do the same in there. Autofill. Accept. And I can go into here. This one needs planting. So we will go there and I will choose. Uh, well, we'll go for the cucumbers because they're not going to last much. Yeah, they're, they're really not going to last much longer. So we will autofill their three people planting. And then we'll go into here and we will get them cultivating as well. Excellent. And we we'll get some more cucumbers growing in there. So cucumber seed does not last very long. This field over here is being planted at the moment. Soil moisture is climbing quite rapidly, and soil moisture is good on everything else. So nothing else to worry about there. And then this field over here, which is the final one that we were wanting to worry about. Soil moisture is now all the way up to maximum, so we got nothing to worry about. Everything has worked out beautifully. We've got seven days left on this training. Then we're going to embark on the long training, which is going to take us an entire year to complete. Except that... We're not going to be able to do that because we don't have the spare 100,000 uh, monies that it's going to cost us to do that. But, that being said, chicken, rabbit, cow. Uh, I got strawberry seedlings there, 1,593 units, which I'm going to sell. I'm going to go and sell all the extra seedlings. We've got a load of seedlings left over. I think it's because the quality of the people who are doing the planting leaves us some extra bits so i'll sell all the extra seedlings that we don't want and we'll see if there's there's also going to be pumpkins to sell as well we get all of that stuff sold off all of it the whole lot the cucumber seeds oh they're now going to last in uh, 29th of the third 2020 we're on 2020 that doesn't make any sense at all 
Unless the, the date, it might it might be a bug on the date or something. It, it could it could literally be anything, right? So that one has got 44 days, 40 days, 57, 27, 43, and 33, and 49. Okay, that's all looking great. That's looking wonderful. We've got these two being picked over here, which is going to be some more pumpkins done. That is planting. This one here is cultivating, and that's nearly done as well. It's just a case of watch. We just got to keep a close eye on everything now. And do this very carefully. So some of the planting is finished. The cucumber seeds we're keeping and the pumpkin seeds we're keeping for these greenhouses. But the rest of it I'm not going to worry about. So let me slow down the speed a minute and we'll go back to the market. Because we're on, we've got four days left. And pumpkins, I will sell all of those a minute. Because the, the price is dropping on the pumpkins. But that's alright, we can cope with that. Um, I thought I sold all the pumpkins. Apparently I didn't sell all the pumpkins. No, I didn't. I, I did sell all the pumpkins. It's just that they're still showing. Sheep's wool. I got a whole load of this, but I haven't actually been using it or processing it at all. And I don't... I'm, I'm guessing maybe there is some way to do something with it at some point. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm just going to sell this because that's another 23 grand. So we'll take that. I got some multi-flower honey already and it's only the early spring. Price on that is not too bad. So we'll sell that bit as well. So there's another 7 grand. I got 29,000 litres of silage here. I'm wondering if I... See, the, the price of this, if I sell all of that, it's seven grand. Right? It's, I'm not going to get a lot. I don't think I want to be keeping the silage running at the moment. I think I can just stop. Um, although, that's only good until next year. I think we need to sort of stop worrying about the silage for a minute. We, we can stop the um, production of it. Uh, those are both good until next year. Manure is good until... Um, 2033 so we don't have to worry about that at all liquid manure there i don't have any reason to keep hold of it so we'll sell all of that is uh 3600 pumpkin seeds right the cucumber seeds there 29th of the third uh see it's only 2020 i don't get why they're only 2020 i think we will sell all of those there it says 29th to 3rd. They should have already expired. They should be gone. They should be dead. Um, those there are no good. I don't want the 22 units of cabbage seedlings. These red peppers. I'll sell all of those. There's 2,900 to come back. I've got 5,300. How have I got so many strawberries? I don't get why I've got so many. I don't think I... Well, I didn't think I bought that many. Oh, well. Right. Um, and then all of those sell... Uh, so we're down to cucumber seeds. Now, the thing with the cucumber seeds, I wanted to plant some more in the greenhouses. I'm not really sure what's going on with this. I'm going to leave the cucumber seed there because it's a very small quantity, so I don't think I really need to worry about it too much. And now, I'm looking on here, and I've got one employee here, Dorcas Cuomo. She's 5 of 5 and 5 of 5. She's working really hard, and she's making loads of silage. So... I've got take above a thousand on these. I think really I need to change that round and take it above five thousand on each of them. So that I got plenty of extra. I got twenty nine thousand litres of silage. I don't think I need to be worrying about silage anymore. Uh, so we will take above five thousand on there. And that one as well and then straw I will also take above 5,000 although I think straw the only thing that we use straw for is making silage I don't think the cows actually use the stuff if you look in here and you go to the warehouse it doesn't have straw in here at all and that seems a bit odd I'm not sure why they don't have any straw bedding so um, I think that is literally just for the purposes of making the silage I'm not quite sure uh, we'll we'll worry about that in a bit let's have a look here right cultivating is still going Cucumbers are planted. And everything else seems to be good to go at the moment. So we've got two days on there. Let's have a look at all the soil moisture levels all the way through the farm. And right, that one up there, those strawberries definitely need watering. I'm wondering if it's because it's higher up. That might actually have something to do with it. So Alice can go up there, take some water up to those strawberries up there. These strawberries got 23 days left. They're 29, 39, 44. Okay, so we got plenty of time on the rest of it. None of the rest of them we need to concern ourselves with at the moment. You in here, we've got uh, chickens, cows. Let's just have a look in the warehouse a minute. We've got nothing in the warehouse there. 
Mind you, everything is sold. I got 117,000 now for money, so we should be pretty good for... There we go. We've finished the training. So let's just slow that down a second, and we go back into here. And then we'll go to the training, which is right here. And now we are going to go to reduce the price of buildings by 30%. That takes 30 days to do. We'll go for this one. Workshop for beekeepers. It basically, we, we got all sorts of different things, so we can really increase... The quantity of everything that we do, we can really bump everything up, we can get bigger buildings, we can get um, yeah, bigger breeders, all of it. It's, it's, it should improve absolutely everything right across the entire board, um, in theory. It, it all works in theory. How, how well it's going to actually pan out for us, I'm not really sure. So let's stick some more cucumbers in here. Autofill and plant. Okay, so those are going to go now. Now I'm going to go back to the market and I'm going to sell those cucumber seeds that we've got. I get rid of those. And then I don't need to worry about them anymore. So I got 2,400 pumpkins. I got more lots of multi-flower honey everywhere here. And it's those right there that I want to sell. So sell that lot there and then they're gone. We don't have to worry about it. I got pumpkin seeds left. Plenty of those. And silage right here. Here's the thing, I only get 7,400 for all of that silage that I have processed. And I'm not sure it's actually going to be worth it. This one here is still going. That one, uh, hang on, what have we got? That one is... Oh, they're planting. So let's get this one here cultivating so that I can get the next lot growing. Autofill, accept. There we go. And let's speed right up. We'll, we'll go quite a bit faster here, get things moving along. We've got 50 days left there. 75 days on those cucumbers. These cucumbers are being planted. At least I'm hoping they are. That harvest there should be finished. They're just going to go and put it into storage. And then they'll tell me that it's all done and finished and completed. They're running along there. They're going a very long-winded route to get all the way around to put the pumpkins in storage. There we go. All done. Right. And yes. Autofill go right you start working on there we've got more pumpkins now i'm going to go back to the market and i'm going to sell all the pumpkins that we've got because our cash reserve is a little bit low so if i go like that i've got 8500 coming in for some more pumpkins the sheep's wool we're not going to do anything to but look in here these guys are taking a nice lot of milk and everything. I'd like to get some more... Well, not sheep. I, it's not the sheep that I want to get. I want to get uh, another sheep shed, but we're going to put goats in it instead. I got 15 sheep in here. I, actually, hang on. Have I, I don't think I started it on here yet. I want to go to uh, production on here. We've got duck, goat, goose, pig, rabbit, sheep right here. I want sheep. There we go. We go to 20% on there and take above 10... Yes, that'll work out quite nicely. So we take above 10 sheep, and then um, one breeding session should do it. Uh, bet with the neighbor, your best farmer, breed four pigs by 25th of the 9th. Okay. Maybe, maybe not. I don't really know. We'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that one. Right, let's go back and look at our fields. The soil moisture is dropping on some of these. Uh, some, that one is the worst one. So we'll go straight into there. Machines, autofill, and go with the trailer with the water. This one up here, this one also needs watering quite badly, and the field of pumpkins is not too bad. Uh, let me slow that down a minute. Show. Call in. There we go. Right, it's just that one at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so we get that one going, and speed back up again. Where's the tractor go? It's this one here, the field of red peppers she's coming into. And then we're going to go to the field of pumpkins up here is going to also need some moisture. That one's all right. Oh, it was this one here that I got it going on. The field of tomatoes. That field over there. The field of red peppers. That one also needs some watering. So she's gone back up over there. As soon as she has got back to her ta uh, target place. Tractor going all the way. Why did you go all that distance for a tractor? I mean, seriously. Right. Uh, machines. Autofill. There we go. Alice Robson, she's going to go and water that field. This one here has got 13 days left. Soil moisture on these two is getting low. And that one, yeah. This, this is the point where we've really got to start dancing around on the soil moisture issues. That one definitely needs it. So she's going to go and put some water. There we go. <laughs> Look at that sliding sideways up across there. Okay, that's not quite how we wanted to do that. Money is dropping. 
We're on minus 10 grand now. Right, that's done. So this field over here, this is the next one that we're going to do. The field of pumpkins, I think. Nope, the field of cucumbers is next. Machines, autofill, accept. There, right. How many have we got? we got 10 days left here. I'm going to go to this field here, and I'm going to water it with hand tools. Like that. You have no well or pump. Ah. Okay, so we need a well or a pump in order to be able to do something like that. Let's put a well right here. Actually, if I put it... Yeah, I'll put it there. I'm going to put it right there. Uh, so I want to slow time down a little bit. Just a minute. Be there, I think. Right, we've got... Oh, there's the well right there. Not enough... Yeah, we, we don't have any money at the moment. This is um, this, this, this is a bit awkward. Uh, well, what can I do for money? Have I, have I got anything that I can actually sell? This one is 71 days left. That one needs uh, planting. No, not fertilizer. This one wants planting. We're going to choose. We've got pumpkins. Pumpkins are literally the only thing we've got at the moment. So we will autofill there, except... And then this one right here, this one is done. That one needs to, We'll wait until that one's done before we plant that one. Uh, that one over there, soil moisture. This one needs watering. So we get that one going. I've got a well over this side. Auto fill. They're going to do that very, very quickly. I've got a well right there, which I'm able to use. So I'm going to go back to the market. And I want to go to sell. And I want... Right, sheep's wool, I got 196 right there. There's 2,800. Multiflower honeys, 5,400 for that lot. Silage, I'm not selling all the silage. Oat seeds, we'll sell those. I get 100 for those. Sell, yeah. Um, it's not a huge amount. Straw, I got 5,000 kilos of straw. Liquid manure, we'll sell a little bit of that. 497. Let's put me into a bit of... Actually, I might have enough now. I may have enough to be able to build a, a well. How much is a well? Let's go to there. 800, yes. We have enough to make a well. I cannot put it here because that's in... Oh, I see. You've got like a certain range that it can go to. Does that mean it can only go to that part of the field? You know, I have no idea. I could put one in there. No, I'm going to put it over this side of the road. It's got to go out from the road a little bit. If I go like that, and then we'll see if that's going to be close enough to do the entire field, or if it's only close enough to do part of the field. That one's done. It's this field up here that I wanted to do, but I got uh, the other field that is currently being uh, watered at the moment. So let's just take a look here. That one, I've got a machine that can come and do that job there, except... And then this one down here is actually needing... They're all needing water at the moment. They're desperately, desperately needing water. This field here, that's, good. That, that's done. That they've, they've all come in. They've, they've done their thing in there. The soil moisture is absolutely up to completely full whack on there. That's perfect. So then we want to go to the strawberries over here. We're going to get all those seasonal employees racing up this way. Seven days left, and then they've got to start picking strawberries. So we're going to get them to come up here. And start doing the watering. They're all running back. That, that should be okay. I think that counts now. So we go watering, auto fill, accept. How long is it going to take them to water these plants up here? Let's go speed this right up. This this is a bit that I'm curious about. Is how long it's going to take them. So that's good. That's fairly low. Twenty one. That's not good. Uh, that's actually that field there is really bad. The Strawberries here are the ones that I want to do. So I'm going to go straight into this one now. Machine, autofill, accept. And then we'll go to those cabbages. As soon as she's done this field, she's going straight into the cabbages. I want this one done here so that we can get that soil moisture up a little bit just before it's actually time to do the planting. You get so many people here. That actually works out really well. So long as the well is close enough, those seasonal employees can come along and do some. And they actually make themselves quite useful. And we've got... So I could put a well down there. And I could use that. I can, I can use the seasonal employees to do this as well. That would work out quite nicely. Right, the tractor is done over there. So then I can come back to this one. Machine. Autofill. Accept. You're going. Okay, that's great. And then here. This one has two days. 
Okay, the moisture levels on those fields is fine. That's doing well. It's just that one that we need to get watered. This one here has still got the two days left. It's not going to take very long. One day left. Oh, no, 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 no. Slow, slow right down. Actually, pause. Just, just stop completely a minute. Show. It's this one. Oh, she's not working on this field at the moment. So we want to go spraying right there and... I could do this with hand tools. I know that's going to leave that one for a day or two. Actually, no, we won't. We'll go, we'll go machines. It's better to use machines. So we want, uh, we've got a fungus on the, on the field. And we want to autofill there. Carl, the tractor, accept. Perfect. We've got fungus on the field. And he is about to go and spray for that. So we'll go back up to medium speed on here. And then... While he's doing that, he's got one day left on these strawberries and we can start the harvest. At long last, we can start the harvest. We've got 13, 30 days, 18 days. Uh, I don't know how long is left on those two. It doesn't tell us until we've actually got um, time available. So as soon as that one is done, we can go and put some more water onto this field. The soil moisture is back up. Soil moisture is dropping rapidly on some of these fields. Far more so than I would like. Right, we've got a field here that is ready to harvest. So let's slow that down. I should have... I've got a track... That tractor is still moving, so I'm going to leave her go a minute. I'm going to go here under Harvest, Machines, and we go Auto Fill like that. So Allegra, and then we've got a whole load of seasonal staff to come along and work on the box trailer as well. So there we go. We've started harvesting strawberries. And if I move over this way, we've got... Carl is working on there. And over here, I've got Soil Moisture, and I should be able to do that now. Sheen... I can't. She's still park. Ah, she's still parking up. I think. Right, go there. Now I can do it. Right, she can come out and she can do that job. Let's speed this up a bit. Little bit. Go on, a bit, a bit more. Uh, let's go even faster. There we go. Right, so we've got here. We go. F fungus again. Slow down to play speed. And everybody's picking strawberries now. Look at this. Look at them go. That is a lot of strawberries that you guys have got to pick. That's going to take you a while. Right, show. We've got fungus on this field now. That's just great. Carl, I'm hoping, is almost finished. Actually, I'm hoping that Carl has completely finished. Oh, no, he hasn't. He's going in here. What is he doing? He's driving over the... Why are you driving over the beehives? What's wrong with you, man? That's not the way to behave. Okay, we go to there, and I will choose anti-fungus spray right there. And then I go to machines, and I autofill Carl with his sprayer, and he gets going there. Right, so he's going to do that. We've got some water being put onto this field, but it's currently raining, so that's going to take care of the moisture levels quite a bit. That is really going to help. I've got over here, the strawberry harvest is underway. Let's come around this way, and we can take a look. There we go. Strawberry harvest is underway at last. This is absolutely brilliant. So we should be able to make an absolute fortune out of this. But that's really all i got time for today. So in our next episode, which will be next week now, uh, we're going to come back and we will probably be picking all of these fields. We're going to have to keep them all going. Hopefully we'll keep them all going well. And then we're going to come back and we're going to harvest every single field here. We're going to try... Um, actually, it was this one over here. We tried cultivating, didn't we? Um, and planted with oats and it sort of said that it was done and then it wasn't done I wasn't sure so we'll experiment with that one doing that field there by hand I want to expand more I still want to do more expansion on this place let's just put that one planting there with the pumpkin seeds like that there we go much more expansion is wanted on this game we're going to want a lot more land we're going to want um a bigger house eventually but yeah more land and i like the idea of having the seasonal picking rather than doing the whole thing with the combines and stuff i like the idea of having seasonal pickers and sort of working this type of farm we will do some combining stuff because that's also part of the game as well but that's that's not for at the moment we'll, we'll get to that much later on so if you enjoyed the episode then please hit down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and until next time thank you very much for watching this is fritgar goodbye and see you later